<laughs> hey, yo, Dante, can you do me a favor? I'm, I'm recording right now, so could, could, could you yell out Dragon Squad, bitch? Dragon Squad, bitch. Get in! Dragon Squad, bitch. Wait, Is that what it took all this time? <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I thought that was Lee Corso. <laughs> <laughs> and they just moved here from San Francisco. McCaffrey stinks. Psst. They can't do us like that. And I don't stink. Mom, you can't let them do us like that. Wow. Well. Guess we gotta step it up. McCaffrey still stinks. Tough crowd. Bracky. Bracky. <sighs> There's two things that Brock Purdy can't do. He can't win without his weapons. He can't win without them damn weapons. And he can't come back from being behind. <laughs> he is who I say he is. Mr. E. Relevant. <laughs> oh man, I had a miraculous Christmas, nigga. Dallas took that L. Patrick Mahomes got cooked. We took the W. Brock Purdy threw four of them things. Four of them TDs, Rex? No, he threw four of them picks, nigga. <laughs> he threw four of them picks, nigga. He was handing out gifts to the niggas. Hey, hey, Lamar Jackson, your MVP is yours now, my nigga. <laughs> that nigga Brock Purdy trash, nigga. Hey, if everything ain't perfect, he will always fold. Every single fucking time. Oh, but Rex, they blew you out. They blew you out. They blew you out. Yeah, they blew us out in a in a regular season game. Um, that we weren't even worrying about these niggas because they was crying for a whole year after we beat them in the NFC Championship game. Um, so that they couldn't go to the Super Bowl, had them crying for a whole year. So yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess that win was more impactful than a win or go home game. I guess that that's what y'all niggas trying to say. Oh, but he was hurt. Who hurt him? Who hurt him? Did he fall down a flight of steps and hurt his arm? Did he sleep on it the wrong way? No. Hassan Reddick broke that nigga arm. Yes, we did. Exactly. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, yo, man. Your boy, your host, Rex Guy Dragon Squad. Bitch! Back here with another motherfucking reaction, nigga. Hey, this was an amazing week for us, nigga. An amazing week. Um, we about to see Brock Purdy get absolutely annihilated, absolutely cooked. Um, like Cam Newton said, that buddy's a game manager. He's a game manager, nothing else. Hey, he's not the nigga that's gonna change the game. He's the nigga that we give the ball and we tell him, Brock, Brock, don't fuck this up. Just make the right play. <laughs> don't fuck this up. That's who he is. That's exactly who that nigga is. So everybody get to this shit. Um, hey, hey, he's on. Hey, he's playing with the Justice League and he's Green Arrow, my nigga. That's who he is. That nigga's Green Arrow. That nigga Ali, hey, 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 y'all know Ali, Green Arrow, hey, he's not trash, but he know he not gonna pull up on Doomsday. <laughs> hey, 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 he know damn well he ain't gonna pull up on and fight no nigga that he's not supposed to fight. He gonna call Flash, he gonna call Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, he gonna call all them niggas. <laughs> Hell no, if it's not an archer, he ain't about to fight no other nigga, bro. Everybody get to this shit, though. Ear to a spectacles. Let's run so get it on, man. Ay! Hell no. OBS start recording. Yes, sir. Let's get to this shit. 
Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Y'all know Ali. Hey, he's just a regular human. He's not stupid. Like I said, he's not trash, but he's not stupid. He gon' he gonna shoot his smoke arrows to create diversion so that Superman can come in and punch a nigga. He gonna shoot shit and get out the way. He gonna facilitate. He and he gonna make sure that his weapons eat. He gonna make sure, like I said, that Superman, Batman, Martian Manhunter, Flash, them niggas. He gonna make. Hey, 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 hey. He gonna give him. He gonna give him open targets. That's who Brock Purdy is. He is Green Arrow. <laughs> yeah, that nigga Green Arrow. Fuck out of here, boy. That nigga was not scared of that nigga. I'm worried about everybody else on this team, but that nigga. That nigga Bosa saw another black quarterback. He thought it was free eats. <laughs> they thought it was free eats. No, nigga. We'll see how they hold up tonight. Third down and eight. Jackson protected. Passes out of the reach. Trash. Across from Kittle on third down and seven. Y'all was at home too? Crazy. Kittle. First down plus. There he goes. Kittle getting a block. And down inside the 30. What was he jumping through a hoop? What the fuck was he doing? Good blocking from Ayuk downfield. Career year in some ways, averaging just under 16 yards a catch. That was 50. Nice down. Purdy. Kittle again with a sliding catch at the 15. Another first down for the 49ers. They're taking the ball inside the 20. Purdy. And <laughs> cookies! Cookies! First down for the 49ers. Who was he throwing to? Who was he throwing to? Purdy. Oh, that was your first mistake. You was throwing it to the running back. <laughs> you was throwing it to to the running back slash wide receiver, not the wide receiver slash running back. Ah, yeah, that was your first mistake, buddy. Intercepted by Hamilton. Not Brock Purdy. Not the MVP. No. Stupid ass. Not Mr. Irrelevant. Dumbass. And a takeaway. Exactly what the Ravens needed. Debo talking all that shit. Hey, hey, I'm a, I'm a still drop that video. That, that video might drop this week. Or I might drop it next week. I don't know. We're gonna see. I, I know I've been saying I was gonna drop the 49ers video. I've been pushing that shit back. Um, but yeah. Uh, like I said in that video when it dropped. Um, he was talking all that shit. Um saying that our secondary was trash, but you um didn't throw to James Bradbury one time. He has he he allowed uh, zero targets, zero receptions. You didn't even throw it to that nigga. You didn't even line up against that nigga. Did you even line up at all playing wide receiver saying our secondary was trash? Darius Slay only gave up three catches for thirty four yards, I believe. Or thirty three yards, some shit like that. You cooked our fourth and fifth string linebacker. Congratulations. You put you put you put up three hundred yards on them niggas. Good job. Dumbass. I'm not, I, I ain't gonna say, bro. I ain't gonna talk shit about a whole nother nigga, right? I ain't gonna say that that nigga's trash and then beat the fuck out of his mans and then be like, and then flex like I beat him up. No, nigga. No, that's not how that works. That's some lame ass shit, to be honest. But yeah, yeah, you, you, you did cook our, um, our fourth and fifth string linebackers. You absolutely did. You absolutely, absolutely bitched them niggas. You, you did. You were absolutely right. In a regular season game, you were absolutely correct. Absol it, it, it was, what, 42 to the, the 13? You were absolutely right. In a regular season game, absolutely. 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 Jackson has started 0 for 3. There's his first of the night, and it's Flowers for the first down with Thomas in coverage. A gain of 7. They addressed it, and they hit on Zay Flowers. Hey, hey. Jackson is going into this shit was crazy play. right here, though. And that shit was crazy. I'm not going to lie. Y'all even had the referees try to help you out. Y'all be saying the rest was helping us, but where have they been at for the last three games before the Giants game? They just, just, just said the rest was helping us out. Where was they out at for y'all game? Where was they at for the Cowboys' second time game? And where was they at for the Seahawks game? But they've been helping us this whole year. I guess, but you literally tripped the nigga, bro. The ref literally tripped the nigga. I'm not gonna lie, this shouldn't have been a flag. It it ain't like he just tripped. He tripped over the referee. 
like maybe it should be a flag, but not giving y'all two free points. Y'all even y'all had two free points, bro. They gave you niggas two free points. Literally tripped over that nigga. Crazy. But you know, you know, you know, you know, you had niggas in the uh, comments of the um of that clip saying that um why was Lamar Jackson why was he running twenty yards back? Why was he running twenty yards back? Nigga, it's Lamar Jackson. You didn't think he was gonna get out of that? That still doesn't negate the fact that he tripped over the referee. <laughs> That still doesn't negate the fact that the ref was in the way. Who cares? I don't care if he was at the one yard line on the other side of the field. If he ran all the way back to the other goal line and tripped over the ref, it would still be the ref's fault. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Slipped over the umpire. They're going to throw a flag for grounding. That's stupid. <laughs> Even Chase don't know what the fuck going on. Funny. I've been crying about the rest of the whole year, but y'all ain't gonna say nothing about that, though, huh? Uh, this okay? Oh. They marked the ball out at the 21. That's where the 49ers have it, and they do carry it with McCaffrey, and he's got a nice hole over the left side and a first down spinning to the 35 for 14 yards. And initiate some of the things that he wants to do. Purdy. Ayuk. First down, San Francisco, as he works in front of the corner, Brandon Stevens for 18. I don't know if people at home realize how good that is, but it's those are crazy numbers. Here's McCaffrey, and he is short of first down yardage by a yard and a decision. What's up? Birdie keeps. Okay, come here, bitch ass nigga! Marlon Humphrey, but a flag is down in the secondary. Damn. Now my man's Darby. Damn, that's my MVP. Damn, that's my MVP. My MVP going on sad, ain't he? With Kyle Hamilton out there all over McCaffrey. 45 yard try. Field goal is. Jackson out to his right. Has there we go. Flowers. Flowers. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get off me, bitch ass nigga. Me, bitch ass nigga. My face. Good protection floated downfield and a flag for interference. That's likely a flag. That is likely a flag. And the flags flew. Pass interference. Defense number 31. Fun foul. Nah, don't boo, nigga. Don't boo. You just got two free points, but y'all booing? Shut up. Aguilar. New damn boy, he won't go nowhere. Hey, I appreciate everything you did for the city of Philadelphia, um, Aguilar, in a Super Bowl run, but after that, it was downhill from there. It's good. We'll take the three. A minute left in the quarter. Fiend, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not just getting lit. They, they playing that, that Cardi Travis Scott, that Fiend. <laughs> hey, that shit goes stupid, though. That new Cardi goes stupid, for real, for real. That, that new Cardi goes stupid. Put him on news, son. Yeah, put him on news. Hey, put Brock Purdy on the news. Fuck wrong. Put that nigga on the news. Where the fuck is he at? On first down, Purdy lets it fly, and there's Kittle out to the 45. A physical style and sticking to the running game, but they've been throwing the ball awfully well. Purdy has to pull it down, and now into the side. Push off, but whatever. That was a push off, but whatever. First down, inches inside the 38. This oh, give me that. Cookies! Stevens who went up to knock it. Second down and eight. Jackson keeps and he's got Bateman. Batman. And they're pretty good at got Batman in his bitch. Hold on. Ooh, fake. 
Ooh, Flowers. Zay Flowers on first down with a nice game. When you can run the ball, both teams can do it. And this is going to be one of those games. Who's able to come away with touchdowns in this area of the field? It's going to be six straight pass plays. Hey. Pass is caught for the first time. OBJ, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Jackson underneath. Lightly. Nice. Nice. Nice job. Going for that shit. Fourth down from the two. Yeah, and fuck it. The guy down here. Gets it and get I would have kicked the field goal, but fuck it. Touchdown Ravens. Fuck it. Number 12 on the year for Gus Edwards. Show me something, Brock Purdy. Let's see what Brock Purdy does coming from behind. Blitz Show me something, Brock. With Hamilton. He gets picked up, and they're going to throw a flag yep. on that. Yep, Give me that. And oh, my God. Look at Brock Purdy. Two flags on the play. Uh. Cookies! Oh, my MVP! He's a game manager. Was Cam hating now, nigga? Hold on, let me turn my motherfucking brightness up, nigga. Because y'all niggas ain't seeing me. Was Cam... Was, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, I'm too bright. Look like I'm in the heavens. Hell no, nah, bro. Like, I'm in the heavens or some shit. But what Cam said wasn't outlandish now, was it? He's a game manager. Shit, bro. Shit was crazy. Everybody was trashing Cam Newton over his take. The only part about that take I didn't agree with was the Dak Prescott shit. Because, like, hey, fuck the Cowboys. Hey, I can be biased, but I, 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 I can give you a little something. I want to. Uh, I mean, I guess he is a game manager, but Cam was when Cam was defining it, he was saying like, um, like don't lose the game type shit. I don't think Dak that type of nigga though. Um, like I've seen Dak spark some shit, like light some shit up. So I I, I want to say he's the type of nigga that's like don't lose us this, this game. That's the only part I don't I uh, kind of disagree with. But other than that. Where was the lie at with Brock Purdy? Where was the lie? Tua, game manager. Where was the lie at? I told you, he's a green arrow on the Justice League. He's trying to fight Doomsday, though. <laughs> he's trying to fight Doomsday, though. Nigga, boy. Ali. Ali. Leave that to the big boys. Leave that to the big boys. And she, like, the shit was crazy because everybody was trashing Cam Newton. Like, he ain't got no accolades. Like, 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 he didn't win the Heisman. Like, he didn't win a bowl. Like, he didn't win MVP. Like, he won one of the most electrifying players in NFL history. Like, he didn't take his team to the Super Bowl. He folded in the Super Bowl. But, um, hey, Broncos, Broncos came to play. They got blew up by the, um, by the, uh, Seahawks. They was not trying to go through that shit again. They was like, fuck no, we about to win this time. So yeah, um But like you got niggas talking about like like you got people from ESP and like that one lady in particular, she went off on that nigga. Like, hold on, sister soldier. Hold on, sister soldier. It's like like, like I ain't trying to be like 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 no women thing or something like that, but like it's like it's one thing when analysts be saying stuff that haven't played the game, cause you don't have you don't have you don't have to necessarily play play the game to know to know what you're seeing if it's trash or not, but you don't know the every in and out of the game though. But still, even people that have played the game, sometimes what they don't what they say may not be hundred percent facts, but you are going to take what they take into account what they're saying to the highest order, cause they actually played the game. He, he ain't a nigga that just played the game. He played the game at a high level. How was the how, how was this woman not 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 sex, not being sexist, but I'm saying like she ain't never played the game. Who the fuck are you to go off on Cameron Newton? I forgot what she said, but she was talking greasy. She was talking some heavy shit. She wasn't just like, you know. Like saying she was disagreeing to them and then maybe she might have said a little something. No, her whole take was talking shit. Everybody was talking shit. And it's like, I think the only reason why niggas is shitting on Cam now is because 
of his of his stint with um New England and his second stint with Carolina. Like I feel like I feel like if those two things didn't happen, I feel like I feel like niggas would like give Cam his props. But since he kind of went out bad, he did kind of went out bad. I ain't gonna lie, he went out horrible. Um, but I feel like since them two shits happened, they don't. It's like they just forgot about what he did before. But still, like not every NFL player goes out in the blaze of glory. Like that shit still doesn't define what he his his height of his height. He was at his lowest, but he was still at his at the highest the highest order, nigga. Like 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 what is me on? And and and, and it's funny too because I ain't gonna make this ratio, but hey, it's another one of the it's another one of the you know the black sisters at ESPN that has a a white husband. I'm not hey hey I I just find it interesting. I just find it interesting considering, you know, Malika Andrews, how she be talking shit about, you know, black men and black athletes, but she be letting, you know, you, you, you know what I'm saying, nigga. I ain't making it racial. You know what I'm saying. But I just find it interesting how it's another sister with um um another Caucasian male tearing down, you know, um, a respected black athlete. And I think also niggas be hating on Ken because of the way he dressed. I mean, he don't be dressing crazy. It's just that his fucking hats and bitches be big as a motherfucker. I mean, it definitely... But was he wrong about this take, though? Like, nah, that shit crazy. I don't see... Like, she had no right to disrespect that nigga. Has an impact on you as far as... You know the fuck she thinks she is. Here's another incompletion with Flowers the Damn. target. Greenlaw was closing on it. Fourth down, and Tucker comes on for the field goal try. High snap, kick is perfect. JT, and no little Uzi. We got JT, no little Jimmy Uzi. On kicks. But yeah, I know it means a lot to Jimmy. It'll be a great celebration for a guy who meant so much to our team. Show me some Brock. Look at him. He's scared to throw. He's scared to throw. That should have been a pick too. That was something. No, it That's wasn't. What, are, what, are you, what, what is he talk, nigga? Bro, can we stop glazing this? This um. Basic ass nigga. Teams. Hall of Fame class nigga, that screen has started since the play started. He, he told Boston this shit was amazing. No, it wasn't. 2020, Purdy trying to throw back. It was a simple throw and catch. Just because he threw it past a Ravens defender don't mean nothing. Why y'all you act like he threw a fucking bomb or some shit? This 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 the shit we talking about. This is the shit that I'm talking about. Y'all glazing up for no reason. He literally, like I said, green arrow. He just Facilitated the arrow to Superman, nigga. It's all he did. Not even Superman. McCaffrey, he the Flash. He facilitated a. Hey, he gave the Flash a lane. That's what he did. What the fuck is you talking about, man? Stop it. Get off his, get off his dick, bro. Come here. Get him down, goddammit. First down and goal. Here's McCaffrey. He's got it. Got to get that nigga down. 49ers and McCaffrey's got his 21st of the year. 13 yard completion and now Flowers with a block as a first. Let's cut that out. And the Ravens have overcome that hands to the face penalty. They have to defend the play that's called and then defend the play that happens when the play breaks down. Like why we ain't got no players like this? It's like every time, every time niggas be blitzing us, we got niggas running four verticals. I'm talking about the Eagles. Like every, like every time, every time it's a blitz, we got niggas running four verticals or four uh, comeback routes. But they gotta go to come back. And by that time, Hurts already flushed off the pocket or it's a sack. Why we ain't got no quick shit like that? And how they, how they operate as a unit. Jackson out to his right on first down. He's got the tight end Kohler. Oh, that should be a flag. Hold on. You try to bite off a little bit of the yardage if you're the Ravens to make. I tell Lamar Holt. Ooh, weave. Bosa thought it was free eats. Oh, no, that, 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 that wasn't Bosa. Hey, got him. Hey, hey, hey. Still running. And down near the yes, sir. Yeah. JT! And this is a four point game at the half. And they can fly and they love contact. 
Show me something, Brock Purdy. You're down four. Show me something. Pop his ass. Ooh. Ooh, that should have been five picks. It should have been five picks this game, to be honest. Wow. Sneed kind of lost his footing. Jackson. Step up. Uh, wide open. And Gus Edwards off to the races. Warner is there. Job, Gus. Bring him down inside the five. The big reason why is their inability to cash in with touchdown. On second and Action, Jackson. Oh, step it up in the pocket. Bosa can't see me. Oh, I'm slinging that bitch. Nelson Aguilar. Aguilar with the catch. And that touchdown is 21st. Brock Purdy, you're down 11. MVP. You got three picks, no touchdowns. <laughs> do something, nigga. <laughs> Christian McCaffrey can't do it all for you. Do something. Of the season too shy of the 49ers franchise record. Set by the great Jerry Rice in the house tonight. Come here. Here's another pick. That's Patrick Queen. Patrick Quinn got no vision, bro. You had a pick six. Season too shy of the 49ers franchise record. Set by the great Jerry Rice in the house tonight. Bro ain't got no vision. What do you 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 ain't think you was gonna outrun uh Peters? No, that's not Peters, that's uh Williams. You ain't think you was gonna outrun you try to do a cutback on Trip Williams, bro. You you ain't had to do all that, bro. That was a that was a pick six. That's Patrick Queen. Until he gets inside the 10. Up and hold Baltimore to three points here. Got him. Stupid ass. Ooh, slinging that hoe. Oh, flowers. You know that girl with hair? Hey, you know that girl with hair like this? Oh, you talking about Ramona Flowers? <laughs> nah, that was lame. I'm probably not going to do that again. Look at them stealing our celebration. They, hey, they, 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 they still in our kick no celebration, nigga. The shit we did to Dallas. No, nah, that shit crazy. It's all right, though. What a nice Ran off with y'all shit. Oh, my God. Brad Purdy, you're down 3 to 20. You threw four picks. Should have been five. Do something, please. Purdy keeps on the play action. He's going to go for Samuel. Good Mason. job. Across the 35. Yes. And Kyle said he's been fantastic. He can take coaching. Show me not a game manager. Third down and seven. Here's Samuel with a drop, and there's a flag. That's why he should be kept in the backfield. Running back. You're running back. Down on the far side of the field. Yeah, bump his ass. Lamar and I done, though. Lamar and I done. Hey. Fuck off me, bitch ass. They get the fuck off me. They get the fuck off me, nigga. To the San Francisco 44. Of the 49ers. Ooh, we. Both. Oh. No, that was Brown. This is Hill. Oh, get off me. Justice Hill is tripped up. And he, he's been a star on this field. <laughs> Look at Brock Purdy. 12 for 23, 173. Four picks. You thought that would be four TDs by now. No, nigga. Four picks. He's ass. Hey, y'all better get Kaepernick back, nigga. Y'all better get Kaepernick back. You better call back Alex Smith or something. He can't win out without his weapons, and he can't play from behind. He can only win when his confidence is up there. Fuck. When he ain't got nothing, hey, hey, when he ain't got nothing to lose, hey, like like how he did in the first season, that's why he was doing so good from the first from his first season last year until now. There was no pressure on him. There was no pressure on him. It was just about you know Jimmy G better be me, being better than Trey Lance. He was the third the third string nigga. He had nothing to worry about. But now they're depending on him to win games. And he can't do it. He can't handle the pressure. He has to be up. 
Because every time he puts his head down, he be making that face. Every time his confidence is shot, we seen that every time he threw them picks, his confidence got shot. He kept putting his head down. He can't be in his head for too long. He's not mentally tough, my nigga. He's not mentally tough. He went to Iowa. He went to Iowa, my nigga. All he had to worry about was husking them corns, nigga. Pause. He knows nothing about adversity. I know he's Mr. Irrelevant and all that shit, but he know nothing about adversity. He has no dog in him. He has none of the intangibles of handling adversity. He has none of that shit at all. You, if you shake that nigga confidence, hey, he gonna do the rest for you. And that's what we didn't do. Now, hey, now that's the blueprint right now. You gotta shake this nigga. You gotta rattle him. Cause what happened? What happened when the first time we shook and rattled his ass? Broke his arm. Knocked him out the game. Right here, he got rattled. Oh, what, what, oh no! What, what, when he got rattled against the Vikings, what happened? Throwing them picks. What happened to the Browns game? Had to put the hands. Had to put the shit into the hands of his kicker. He couldn't do it himself. No McCaffrey, no D ball with that bitch. Who was the other team they lost to? I think it was the same shit too. He was throwing picks. Couldn't handle the pressure. And what's happening right here? Rattled. Four picks. Down three scores. Can you handle the fucking pressure? He's a bum. Second down and nine. Jackson Flowers. I hope you got all your endorsements, my nigga. I hope you got every single one of your endorsements. Because you're going to be right back to still staying with your roommate, nigga. You was not getting no contract after this, buddy. You can still staying with your roommate. You're going to still have your mama... Um, um, pack your lunches and shit, nigga. You still gonna be driving around in that in that fucking um that Dodge Durango, nigga. Making less than a mill a month. Making more than me. Making more than me. But you gonna be just another regular nigga that I see out and about. That's who you are. I've seen you before, brother. I seen you somewhere in, in, in Target or some shit, nigga. That's who you are. That's who you're gonna be. So I hope you got all the endorsements that you that you could have possibly gotten, buddy. You Tommy DeVito now, nigga. Make some move. Damn. And God damn. Can I get a Surviving flag? The hit by Greenlaw. I'll take that nigga head off. And Lamar Jackson's been fantastic. Third down and goal. It's all Lamar. Short of the end zone. Hey, Lamar, you got a goddamn push to them niggas. I would have went for it again, to be honest. Y'all should have a QB sneak. I would have went for it again. Put my foot on them niggas. Great that night, and it propelled us to our third Super Bowl. On first down, Purdy. But Chris McCaffrey got level. Trying to make magic happen. Nigga, it's over. It's over trying to make magic happen. First down, San Francisco. Here's McCaffrey. Look at them screen passes. His cop is already shot. Another screen pass. Boom! Hey, Samuel ate that bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Survives that hit by Humphrey. That was insane. That was insane. I ain't gonna lie. But get off that nigga dick, though. Where's I you get? Trash. Raven showing blitz. Come here, bitch. Gets away from trouble and now flips it to McCaffrey. Throw ass down, nigga. And still a stop by the Ravens. Fuck man, fuck you thought it was gonna happen. Boy, see, you see, you Green Arrow trying to do Batman things. That's some Batman shit, nigga. Throwing the gadgets everywhere. You, you Green Arrow trying to do some Batman shit, nigga. Y'all both humans, but you're not that nigga, though. Stop it. Just go down. You've been laying down the whole game. Just stay down. If I wanted it, you'd be dead already type shit, nigga. Fuck wrong with him. Damn.
Show me something, Brock. Show me something. You're down three scores. Oh, there go Ayuk. Ayuk Aquaman. <laughs> hey, that nigga Ayuk Aquaman. No, that's you check. You check Aquaman. Aw. Whoa. Was that Samuel Darnold? Aw, what happened to Brock Purdy? What happened? Aw, you got a little stinger. A little sting, 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 stinger. Stinger. You got a little stinger, buddy. Oh, did you get that from we had broke your arm in the, in the uh, NFC Championship game? And I'm not joking about the injury. I'm joking because of how the 49ers fans was crying about if he was healthy and Rock Purdy would have played the full game and shit. Even like they was acting like, like how I said, they was acting like he fell down a flight of steps or he slept on his arm wrong type shit. Ignoring the fact that we hit him and knocked him off the game. I'm not joking about his injury. I'm just joking about like how they were saying all that bullshit. Because he won't injure. He won't hurt. He ain't had no little stinger. Shanahan took him out because he knew his confidence was shot. He knows that he needs that nigga. So hey, he took him out to, to save him the embarrassment any further. That's why he took him out. Just like how they took him out in the NFC Championship game. Because he folded. He couldn't stay out there with his team. And still, he he still even knows that, okay, hey, I, I, got, I got hurt again. Hey, I ain't got to worry about nothing. What do I got to lose? I'm still mystery relevant. Still live with my roommate. I still have nothing to lose. But now, now, now this time, nigga, no, you got something to lose now. Because now niggas is depending on you. Before last season, it was your first time out there. Niggas weren't really depending on you. You just had your free reigns to do whatever you wanted. You still kind of got that now, but you can't keep doing this forever. Because at some point, nigga, if you don't keep producing, you will be cut. Like any one of these other niggas. He took him out to save him any further embarrassment. That's why. Calling to get out the game and shit. Because you couldn't handle the pressure yet again. Nah, finish the game, nigga. Finish the game. You know, you can't finish the game now. It was all fun. It was all fun and games when you was up blowing teams out, wasn't it? When you didn't have no responsibility. It was all fun and games then, wasn't it? Now you don't want to finish the game? He took him out because of a confidence thing. Maybe, maybe he was actually hurt, but for the most part, took him out because it was a confidence thing. And then, and then what happened when they put another quarterback into the same system? What happens they, on his drive? The, the game they want to get to where they could, they know they're going to be rushing the quarterback. And then with the makeshift offensive line that you talk about. Oh, here's damn. Dar Brock Purdy was out there. <laughs> the camera had on the alpha, uh, alpha costume on. What's Sam Darnold doing? The former Jet Fire. Damn, doing the same thing Brock Purdy did. Except he's throwing some niggas I've never seen in my life. Like, who the fuck is that nigga? Damn, these seats gone? No, where the Niners fans at? They leaving? They leaving? Oh, I know these seats cost about like a thousand. Y'all leaving y'all a thousand dollar seats? Aww. Aww. Who? Jordan who? Who? Oh, he a rookie. Oh, Ronnie Bell. I don't know, nigga. Nigga, Jingle Bells, nigga. What wrong with you, nigga? Why y'all still cheering so loud? Game over. What you doing this for, brother? Game over. Stop it. What? 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 I know it's Christmas, nigga, but you ain't getting no gifts. You, you go at home to an L. Don't take it, hey, don't take your kids' Christmas presents back, nigga. Let them enjoy their day. I know, I know you getting cooked at work right now. Don't, don't take it out on your kids by taking their presents away. Fuck, hell no. Come here. Go ass down, nigga. No, stop it, nigga. Looking like Brock Purdy. That's the same nigga out there. Like I said, you could put any quarterback in that system. 
Jimmy G took these same niggas with a lesser team, by the way, to the Super Bowl and almost won that bitch if it wasn't for the coach's fault. Trey Lance was winning with these same niggas. Jimmy G last year was winning with these same niggas. Had a winning record before Brock Purdy even took over the offense. But y'all acting like this nigga the truth. I know, like I, said, I know he has a good story. He's a um a blue collar citizen, even though he's not. Um, he's mystery relevant. Um, he's a good kid with a good hit on his shoulders. He still lives with his roommate. He drives a regular car. Even though he's still basically a fucking millionaire. Um I I I don't really want to get behind this story and all, but No, he's not Tom Brady. He ain't better than Jalen Hurts. He ain't even better than Jared Goff. Anybody can run this offense. You and me right now can run this offense off the couch. I got those screen passes all day for show. Sure. Pitch and catches all day for show. Sure. Screen passes, like three occasional deep ones, Kittle over the middle for show. Sure. But Trent Williams blocking for show. Sure. Hand the ball off the Debo for show. Sure. And McKivitz on the left huh? side, quick throw. Debo Samuel. Pop that nigga. Come on, man. And he got it. First down, San Francisco, and that is all Debo. Third down and one. Quick throw, and it's IU. Spinning to the 21. And the 49ers aren't done yet. Joe Buck, these niggas is finished. Game is over. They ready to go back home. Fourth year player from St. John's in Minnesota. Third down and three. IU contact and a flag. Best interference. Defense number 21. Fun foul. Automatic first down. Pretty vocal and upset about being the underdog coming into this game. Leading by 14. Darnold can't find anywhere to go. And Urban is there to clean up on the sack. Clowney was the first guy there, and Jadavion has had a big night. As the defense has had some fun here on Christmas against the 49ers. Fourth and goal. End zone shot. Another interception. This one for Marcus Williams. And that is that. They, hey, that's basically Brock Purdy fifth interception because that's the same nigga out there as far as I'm concerned, nigga. Brock Purdy threw, four, he threw five interceptions, nigga, as far as I'm concerned. A five interception game for Mike McDonald's defense. And what Lamar Jackson was able to do, I would have to believe that he kind of leapfrogged everybody tonight and he's the odds out favorite to win it. He told us he doesn't care. Yeah, but now he got to perform in the playoffs though. I ain't gonna lie. Um, last time he was number one seed in the playoffs, uh, Titans ran up in that bitch, cooked them. So, um, but I think he got a better team this time though. But yeah, he got, he got to show me some. Because how many playoff wins he got? How, yeah, yeah. How many playoff wins Lamar Jackson got? I don't know. Nah, Bosa. Don't talk to me, Bosa. Nah, bro. He wants to deliver a present on Christmas for his team. Yeah, Bosa. That was the only time he touched that nigga. And the Ravens fans. And he did. Where Brock Purdy at? Where Brock Purdy? Where Brock? Brock? Where's my MVP? No, where's my boy Brock? This Christmas night. <laughs> Look at Debo face all sad and shit. Aw, you sad nigga? Aw. It's okay. It's a regular season game. It's okay. It's okay. As the Ravens go to twelve and three. Talk about a secondary trash, nigga. But do it to our linebackers the whole game. Ain't line up against not one nigga. Fuck. Well, you trash at being a receiver, nigga. That's that. That's who you is, nigga. Your wide receiving skills are trash. Stick to being a running back. Fuck. These niggas talking about, boy. 
Brock Purdy's ass. Always has been, always will be. There's no way around it. I try to tell y'all niggas. I try to tell you niggas. I've been telling you niggas about all these quarterbacks, but niggas ain't been listening. I know Jalen Hurts looking bad right now, and I've been keeping it real with that nigga too. Why can't y'all? Fourth time in the season to crumble. Mentally. He is mentally touchable. I've seen Jalen Hurts be down. I've seen Jalen Hurts be up. I've seen Jalen Hurts get into shootouts. Brock Purdy cannot get into no shootout. Cannot play from behind. I've seen Jalen Hurts go to the playoffs with Jalen Rager. He was Hurts was basically a rookie himself, playing with a rookie with a rookie Devontae Smith and Jalen Rager. So pretty much he was only throwing to one side of the field. Cause Rager was out there doing cardio, nigga. He, he could man, he couldn't even look to his right. He had to throw straight left. I've seen him take Greg Ward, um, a practice squad, a practice squad player who was a quarterback in college, converted to wide receiver. I've I seen him take him to the playoffs. Boston Scott, practice squad nigga, took playoffs. I've seen him do that. So for you guys, that's probably like. Oh, Jalen Hurts ain't just shit with all his weapons either. No, brother. We, we got to the playoffs with the Raker. Yeah. He, he didn't always have A.J. Brown on his team. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to break it to you. No, he, no he, he didn't always have everything handed to him. No. No. And he started out 2-5 and five that season. Took niggas to the playoffs. So. No. I've seen Jalen Hurts do it. Have you seen Brock Purdy do it? No. Oh, yeah. Anyways, so all I gotta say about this, you know, you guys can post your comments down below. Tell me what you guys thought. Leave a like if you enjoyed what you guys did. So subscribe because either you are a dragon or you're Brock Purdy. You're a bitch. Dragon Squad. I really thought you loved me, girl. How can this be? I didn't love these hoes. It was all. Chopper's to my chest, no I can't